Hi and welcome to my review of the iPhone 6s in English. So this is what it looks like when you buy the new iPhone 6s. Um, it has an iPhone picture in color and this one I'll be reviewing is the 64 gigabyte version in space gray. So let's open this thing up and have a look what's inside. First of all, of course, you have the iPhone laying on top of the box. Let me get this thing out. Plastic thing here. And then you have the usual um, Apple paperwork inside here. This thing you need to place your SIM card in hold. And there is a little quick start guide. And of course the Apple stickers. Normally there would be the uh, lightning cable which is in use. This you need to plug it into the power. And here are the Apple earpods. And a little plastic box. This is what it's all about, so let's take a closer look. So this is what the iPhone 6s looks like. Pretty much the same as the iPhone 6, so let's take a closer look at the outside. You've got a headphone plug-in, a microphone, the lightning, another microphone and of course the speaker on the right. Here you have nothing on top, the on off switch on top and a slot for your SIM card. You can adjust the volume and turn sound on or off. Here you can see a little S which shows that it's the iPhone 6S and not the iPhone 6. And you can see still the camera is sticking out a little bit. So you can lay it flat down on the table, but that doesn't bother me too much. So the phone is 138.3 mm high, it's 67.1 mm wide and 7.1 mm deep. So it's a bit um, higher, thicker and wider than the iPhone 6. There are a lot of new things going on inside. We have an all new A9 chip from Apple with a 64-bit architecture and M9 motion coprocessor. The old one had the A8 chip. Um, we have LTE Advanced instead of uh, just regular LTE and we have the fingerprint sensor of the second generation which is a lot, of, a lot faster, I'll show you later. Um, we have a 12 megapixel camera instead of 8 megapixel and we have a 5 megapixel selfie camera in the front. You can now shoot videos in 4K and not only uh, full HD. As I told you, the fingerprint sensor is pretty fast, you just have to slightly touch the home button and um, your phone unlocks. Um, kind of too fast for me, because if you just want to take a look what time it is, it uh, automatically unlocks your phone, which is kind of annoying. Um, I haven't registered all my fingers, so with one finger I can just take a look, with the other one I can unlock my phone. So what else is new? Of course, 3D Touch, as you might know as Force Touch from the Apple Watch, but this is a bit better. So first thing you see is if you push a little harder, your background will start to move, the default background, um, and you see that the display is touch sensitive now. So what can I use this 3D Touch for? Well, you might directly take a selfie or a video 
or picture or slow mo directly from your lock uh, or home screen if you uh, hardly press on the on the camera button. So you can see it automatically activates the front camera instantly if you choose that. Um, another cool feature is to uh, press hard on your mail button. You can see if you have new mails, which should be the case because I wrote a test mail earlier. So you can directly access your new mails or your VIP uh, contacts or search. I just open the new one here and if you do another hard touch you can see a preview of the message and um, can answer or mark it or move it. Um, what else is new? You can uh, let's say 3D touch on a link that is there. For example YouTube. Um, he wants to open it in the YouTube app now. That's fine. I'm just going to show you how to use that, but we don't need that now, so we can return to mail. Another one is the calendar date, October 8th, for a fictional meeting. Let's check my calendar. If I press on the date, I see oh, there's nothing in my calendar, and I could um, now do a new event here or delete it. So that's how you use it in mail. Um, it doesn't work with um, every single app, so you just get a little vibration. You can uh, use it with uh, your phone contacts, or you can here create a new contact, or call your VIPs directly from the home screen. Um, I'm pretty sure that third-party uh, developers will integrate it in their apps in the future, which could be uh, pretty handy. Search the App Store here. iTunes Store doesn't work yet, but you can uh, use 3D Touch on music. For example, you can search for a song, um, listen to Beats 1, or if you have listened to music previously, um, the song will show up here and you can continue listening directly from your home screen. So Google Maps doesn't have it yet, but uh, check out Apple Maps. You can directly get sent home or set a GPS marker. For example, if you want to return to your car and you don't want to, you know, in a foreign city you don't know where you parked your car or you can search for something near you. So it's a pretty handy feature that you can uh, use with a lot of apps. Uh, especially the camera section is fun, I think, and the mail section. But um, where you can also use it is in uh, live photos. So let me show you by um, this little button you turn live photos off or on. And if you turn it on and take a picture, it will automatically record the first 1.5 seconds before and after you took the shot. So what that means is it creates little videos. Let's have a look. Just take a high quality photo here of my MacBook Air. So what it does now, um, took a live photo, that means got this photo here, good quality, 12 megapixels, but if you now press and hold down with a 3D touch, the images will come to life, which is pretty cool. Well, not at this photo, we'll see you now. It's pretty boring, but it's moving. Not the highest frame rate, but it's pretty good to capture some more emotions or feelings with uh, I don't know, people you snapped or when you're on vacation and want to take a picture of the sea, I guess that's pretty cool. So uh, 3D Touch is a little uh, good thing to play around with and I think in the future we can expect a lot of more apps that are integrating 3D Touch. So while now the new camera and 3D Touch and the new processor really make the iPhone 6s a great phone.